Sardi now basically have her uh, reflexed in the appropriate position. We've resected our skin flaps already, and we can already see over here that very little skin uh, is actually remaining that hasn't been quilted down. And I basically am bouncing back and forth. I secured the midline temporarily, which is a suture in the middle. We've got a lot of uh, the dead space obliterated. This contralateral side, I'm just tucking in the uh, tag for the umbilicus, but the contralateral side needs to now be quilted. So this side you can see, we can raise up up to the level of where it's been uh, quilted or tacked down. This side we try to, and we can see the uh, adhesions, uh, or the, excuse me, the securing nature of the sutures onto the anterior rectus sheath from scarpus fascia. So here we just have a small flap, and I'm gonna go and start securing this flap down as well. So really the, uh, again, I'm tucking in my uh, umbilical suture um, uh, to secure there. And basically I'm gonna grab a bite back here and then place it and continue to secure it anteriorly. So here we are, she was gonna be a really snug closure. Now all of a sudden the skin flaps advance. We've got enough uh, tension, it's coming together really well. Continue to just march it along. All this uh, area is completely secured down and just kind of taking a feel, there's a little gap right here and I'm gonna be able to take that flap and advance it. So I just took a bite, but I'll just go and show it again. So here we are taking a nice big bite of scarpus fascia back here and taking that bite, recognize that we can advance it to about this position. So I'll take just a touch more, take advantage of you know, intraoperative tissue expansion, so to speak. And here we are with a nice bite of the anterior rectus sheath. So let's go ahead and cut this stitch off, please. Perfect, back to you. And my assistant's gonna show me my knot. So she's gonna just come right here. And all of a sudden, you can see, we're able to really nicely put this knot down. And you'll see how much additional tension it takes off of the incision. So you get a lot less scar migration, it seems at least anecdotally. So let's go ahead and cut that, please. Good. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, what seemed like it was gonna be a bit of a far reach is now coming together really easily and springs forward. So I have one right here, basically here. It's taking a few extra minutes, but not much. I'm gonna take one more stitch, advance it here, and it's gonna take all this tension off the midline, and we're gonna be able to come together really nicely, so.